Delmarva Almanac presents Arts and Times, the Eastern Shore's quarterly arts magazine and community calendar. Each quarter, we highlight regional artists who work and show in our area, as well as some of our must-see cultural and natural attractions. Patty Becker paints large-eyed creatures and fantastical scenes on wood, old furniture, and canvas. She describes her art as a mix of folk and lowbrow. She is part of a new generation of folk artists bringing a touch of whimsy to the art world. I had a little shop uptown in Berlin and um, I sold Randy Hoffman's fish and I started painting furniture for my apartment. I had all this old, you know, furniture and I started painting it and that's how it got started and then it just started selling and um, since then I've I still paint furniture, but I also paint on canvas and, and wood. Um, I just have always done it. It just comes out. <laughs> I feel more comfor comfortable expressing myself, I think, through animals than I would. They may be people issues, but I, I, they come out as animals. Um, I just feel more comfortable with that. And, and they've just always come out bright and colorful and maybe a little bit sinister sometimes. I've always loved the sea. I'm afraid of the water, which is kind of funny, but it's my favorite place to be, at the beach or, or near the water. Um, so I paint a lot of sea creatures, and I always have. Um, I love bones and skulls and um, bugs, and I always have. Um, for a while I was doing a lot of fish I would carve them out of wood and then paint them. They had big eyes and big lips. Um, but I haven't done any of them in a long time. I love snakes, birds. Um, my larger paintings are much more about what's in my head and art and just spontaneous. But I also do lots of cards and prints and, um, and the furniture. You know, I, I do fish ponds. They're all completely different, but they're fish ponds. Like other local artists, Patty appreciates the benefits of the light, sand, and sea here on the shore, along with the convenience of living within easy driving distance of major urban art centers like D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York. But she especially appreciates the blossoming arts community in Berlin. One thing I love is, you know, you have the beautiful marsh and the seashore, but I love the, you know, honky-tonk Ocean City downtown. I don't want to lose that. I get so sad because it seems like we're kind of homogenizing everything and I hate that. I think there have always been a lot of artists here but there are so many more places to show your work now. Um, and also the art that I really like, it used to be you never saw it here and I remember um, Jay Frank at Pepper's Tavern used to have these really great art shows and um, tattoo artists and um, just people who, you know, did it part-time, full-time, but that you had no idea that they were making this really great art. And it was just so fun to be in a dive bar and, and you know, with all your friends and just see all this great art for just one night. Um, and of course, you know, there, there are a lot more venues now for for all of that, I think. And of course it used to be, you know, the big joke was, it was all duck art. <laughs> and it's not anymore, which is nice. And of course it probably wasn't always, but. One of Patty's favorite artists is the late Margaret Kilgallen, but she does not identify with any one influence on her work. Um, I draw, I, I don't draw as much as I'd like to. Um, I generally just jump right into painting and while I'll sometimes draw out the painting, um, I don't. I, I'll sketch an idea, you know, like funny, funny quick sketches, but I don't actually, I used to keep a journal and draw every day, but I don't as much as I used to. And then I always do the little, you know, my little uh, scrap paintings on just little scraps of wood. And actually that's kind of like my daily practice, I think, um, because I do them quickly and, um, they're, you know, they're fun. <laughs> a lot of times I'll think of something that I want to do 
um, either I'll hear a song lyric or, um, or it's just something in my mind and I'll want to paint it. Um, and then later I realized there's more to it than just the simple idea of painting, you know, whatever it is. Um, and I, I, one thing that I love is when people do look at my, my work and they come up with a story, especially kids, because, you know, they, it just comes out. <laughs> and I love that, you know, and I definitely think that that's one thing about my larger paintings that happens that, that I love. <laughs> I love that, especially with the furniture, it's functional and they can live with it. Um, you know, a table in a room, it's like a little circus caravan and I, I think it makes people happy. Um, I've gotten lots of letters that say, I come down in the morning and I see your table and it makes me happy and I mean, it's like the best thing ever. <laughs> um, I get tears in my eyes. I think that. You know, and, and that people live with it. That's such an honor. <laughs> I do mermaids, but that's as close to the human figure as I normally do. Um, and a woman came to me, this was in Las Vegas, and she wanted me to do a family portrait in my style. And it was really great. It was, it turned out, I liked it. You know, it was really fun. Strange, but fun. Patty has an intuitive, creative process. She produces both high quality and a high volume, but certain works seem to just magically turn out to be special. It's so, it's, it's so funny how that happens. And then there'll be other paintings that are just, I don't know, I don't know what it is that, you know, I all of a sudden I'll think, oh, it's done. And of course, a lot of it, because it's so illustrative, I'll have a definite idea of what it's going to look like, but it never you know, it's always, it always changes mid painting. Um, but that is, that's such a good feeling. And then other times I will have been working on it, you know, keep, I keep coming back to it and my husband will come in and say, oh, that's incredible. And then I think, oh, well maybe, <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe it's done and I don't know. But, um, you know, there's always, there are always those paintings where you, you think, I really don't like this very much. Maybe I'll paint over it. And, you know, he would be so upset if I painted over it, so. Patty draws creative nectar from many places, including art documentaries, gardening, and teaming up with her husband. My husband and I just started collaborating on the front. He builds the tables out of, not this one, <laughs> but um, some of the others. He builds them and then... I paint them and it's been so much fun to you know because he loves designing them and so we've been doing a lot of them and they've been doing very well at any place that we've shown them. Uh, I'm about to start making mirrors and they're gonna be um, well they're hard to describe but they'll be limited edition and, and like a 3D kind of a, but, but smaller, you could hang it on the wall or put it on your vanity. Once, a collector who happened to be on the board of the High Museum in Atlanta asked if he could purchase an entire show of her work. She agreed as long as she could deliver the work personally and see his private collection, which she said was spectacular. Patty advises artists who are just starting out to learn to be true to themselves. If somebody says, your art is weird, which I've heard. <laughs> Don't listen to them. You know, I mean, if it makes you happy, if it's, if you're doing it and it's making you happy and you're feeling like you're getting something out that you need to get out, um, keep doing it. Patty is a member of the Ocean City Art League. She accepts commissions and shows her work in galleries in Nevada, Baltimore, Philadelphia, and Rehoboth Beach. In Berlin, Maryland, she shows her work at a shop called Bungalow Love, and she has a one-person show this May at the Globe called Talking Birds, Sea Creatures, and Animals I Have Yet to Meet. While you're visiting galleries and other cultural attractions in Somerset, Wicomico, and Worcester counties on Maryland's Lower Eastern Shore, be sure and pick up the print edition of Arts and Times. This publication is funded by Worcester County Tourism. Visit the beach and beyond. Thank you for watching this presentation. This has been a Moonshell production.